Hi guys, it's me, Big B again, and I'm just making a kind of quick video about the good old iPhone again. Well, actually, not about the iPhone itself, about the operating system. This is a iPhone 3GS 32GB, and it came with the iOS 4.01, um, and it's just really to complain about the battery life. It, the, the iOS is a, is a battery killer, well and truly battery killer. Um, based on moderate use are not getting four hours out of the phone um, I did some tests with I mean I, I, I had push notifications on and things like that yeah but you, it's a premium rate phone you're paying a fortune for this thing even the 3GS at the minute it's a top of the range phone and I, I've paid for those features so I want to use them but it kills the battery um, I've turned all those features off I have went on the forums there were some guys saying what to do and um, turn this off turn that off basically you almost turn everything off and um, turn your brightness right down I think but you know why should I have to I've paid for those like I've said um, and I mean I'm, I'm lo up, if I'm using the phone I'm losing two three percent a minute on the battery that's not good um, after two hours if I don't actually touch it much and don't fiddle with it I've lost 40 45 percent of my battery power you know if I if I use it if I play a few games have a look at a bit of internet do city because it's jailbroken or whatever couple a couple of hours and, and it's it's almost dead so I'm really disappointed and Apple should really get the finger out and fix this problem Um obviously the iPhone 4 is a bit better because it's got uh, modern battery it's got a bigger battery so but it even that's not fantastic yeah because I've had one and obviously the iPhone 4 has got all the other problems but I'm really really thinking about going back to, to Google and Android and um, I had the HTC desire because you've seen in one of my videos I uh, um, debranded one and put Froyo on it and um, but I got a good deal on th this iPhone and I, I do or I did like my iPhones so I, I switched back but I'm really debating after only having this a couple of weeks switching back again I'm looking at the Samsung Galaxy S um, because they've said battery life and that's really good some people have done some serious tests and they've given it some welly and they're getting like several days I'm not getting several hours so I don't know what to do I'm really really this close on, on, on going back to Android um, and thing, but if I do, I uh, will do a video on that and give you a direct comparison between iPhone and Galaxy S because uh, you know, like I say, I, I've I will have both or I've got both. Um, but I really like some of the features on the Galaxy S. It's um, got a very fast processor. It's got one of the fastest GPUs that there is at the minute, and the benchmarks are, are trans and everything else. Even the iPhone 4, it uh, it it's keeping up with. Um, so. I'm really, really debating it. Um, I know the iPhone 4 has got the Retina screen, but the Galaxy S has got the Super AMOLED screen, and it's supposed to be fantastic, absolutely crystal clear. So, if I get one, I will do another video, guys, and I'll let you know what I think. Because um, I have changed phones quite a bit recently. I kind of seem to settle on a one that sort of does everything that I need. Um, so in a, in a way I, I do know about a bit about quite a few phones um, so like I say when I get it if I get it I'll test it if you have any problems the same as me which I would think you have because there's a lot of people on the forums complaining about the same problem battery life batteries being drained on standby overnight just left on the side of the table 100% when they go to bed get up in the morning it won't even switch on it's, it's dr drained the battery completely just on standby so not good Apple you know you're gonna to have to get your finger out you 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 now on killed the iPhone 4 with different problems and messing about and then you bring out this new iOS and it doesn't work properly I mean I have the, there are other bugs as well as the battery drain and um, which need to be sorted out and you seem to be dragging your heels you spend less time trying to stop people jailbreaking which they will do anyway you, you'll never stop it you should put a bit more thought into the actual overall performance of your iOS and um, 
and try and try and sort it out. But I'm going to leave it there, guys, because we're coming up to five minutes. Uh, any comments, just leave some comments, and I'll get back to you and let us know your problems. Right, thanks for watching again, guys.